everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Saturn, the sixth planet from the sun. So let's dive right into it. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun. And it is actually one of the most special because it has rings that are visible to the naked eye. In fact, it is the only planet in the solar system that has this quality. Other gas giants such as Jupiter and Uranus and Neptune, which we'll talk about later, do, do have rings actually, but they are not visible to the naked eye. Now, if you recall, Jupiter has the most moons in the solar system, 79. However, Saturn has 82 moons. So what gives? Saturn has way more moons than Jupiter, right? Well, 53 of these 82 moons are actually confirmed. The rest are awaiting confirmation. Saturn probably has 82 moons, but it might actually have 150 moons and smaller objects known as moonlets. Speaking of which, Saturn has moons embedded in its rings. The gravitational pull of the moons actually hold the rings together. Saturn is a gas giant, much like Jupiter. However, it actually also has a sort of storm formation like Jupiter. While Jupiter has the great red spot, Saturn has the great white spot, which is definitely bigger than the one on Jupiter. Now, it is hexagonal, and this actually makes a lot of sense because a lot of things in nature are actually hexagonal. For instance, honeycombs well, from uh, bees honeycombs are actually hexagonally shaped. And when you blow bubbles, um, when they sort of um, merge together, they actually form a hexagonal shape more or less. The storm actually changes color from white to a golden color and back and forth every 30 years, which, speaking of which, is actually how long it takes for Saturn to revolve around the sun. Yeah, it takes 30 entire years, well, not really entire years, it's more 29.9 years, but it is insane how long it takes to revolve around the sun, even longer than Jupiter. In fact, more than double the year that, to that Jupiter takes to revolve around the sun which just goes to show how far away Saturn is from Jupiter. Don't think we're gonna be going anytime soon. Saturn actually has seven rings. Now, I know that may sound a little counterintuitive because as you see in the picture, um, you see uh, uh, one ring and then you see a little uh, division and then you see another ring. So it has two rings, right? Well, no. If you look a little closer, you can see that there are some other divisions in its uh, ring system. Now, these rings are the D ring, the C ring, the B ring, then the Cassini division, which is that big division that you see right there, the A ring, F ring, G ring. Don't ask me what maniac labeled the rings, I'm just gonna leave. Saturn actually has an eighth ring, only this ring extends far into space and is very light, only made of specks of dust that you can only see the ring in an infrared camera. In fact, this is the most recently discovered ring, with it being discovered only a few years ago, as of recording this video, of course. Saturn actually has the least amount of density of all the planets in the solar system. In fact, Saturn is the only planet that is dense enough, where if you were to have a ginormous bathtub and just plop Saturn in there, it would actually float in the water. Yeah, that entire planet, almost the size of all the other planets combined, just floats in water. Why? Well, it's mostly because Saturn is, again, a gas giant like Jupiter, which means that a lot of the space is actually very inflated. Giovanni Cassini was actually the first person to observe Saturn's rings and was the one that actually discovered the Cassini division. Johanni Cassini is well noted with Saturn um, sort of terminology and as a result there was even a probe named after him. Now a probe was actually sent to Saturn's surface. This it was known as the Cassini probe. 
the probe had let's just say a ludicrous journey to Saturn but nonetheless it got there and it started observing its rings however another probe that was attached to Cassini named Huygens was sent to one of Saturn's furthermost moons this moon was Titan now Saturn's moon Titan is actually the largest moon in Saturn's lunar system however it is far far more interesting than just that it is um, actually not completely mapped only uh, a large percentage of it is mapped but there is still about 40% of Titan's surface that is not mapped as a result there's still a lot of Titan that we haven't seen but most importantly Titan is one of the only places in the solar system that might house life. The reason being is because Titan is home to many rivers and lakes of liquid methane. And although most creatures on Earth are based on water, it's possible that aliens, alien organisms, are maybe based off of other things. They could be entirely different. They could be sulfur based and um, live on liquid methane as a result. And Titan actually does have large amounts of sulfur. So it's possible that they are sulfur based and live in liquid methane. Titan might also be geologically active, but that's a whole other story for another day. Now, Titan isn't the only moon of Saturn that might house life. Another moon, known as Enceladus, not Enceladus, Enceladus, is actually one of the more interesting moons besides Titan. It actually is geologically active and has these sort of ice volcanoes that spew out ice and water ice into the solar system. And this sort of water ice actually forms a big portion of Saturn's ring system. You heard me right, Enceladus is forming new rings on Saturn. However, not all things last. Like the Great Red Spot, Saturn's rings eventually will fade out of existence. However, Enceladus might actually keep those rings alive. And as a result, Enceladus might actually be our last hope of keeping Saturn's rings alive forever. Now, Saturn has way more moons than these two. In fact, as you heard, there are 53 at the very least confirmed moons. 82 are um, actually suspected to be moons of Saturn, though the other that are not part of the 53 are still awaiting confirmation. And some of these moons, or at least some of the more iconic ones, was is, is Mimas. And I know what you're thinking when you saw the picture. Not the Death Star. Dion, Hyperion, Typhus, Ipothes, yes, yeah, most of these moons are uh, a little difficult to pronounce, let's just say. Saturn comes from the Greek name of the father of Jupiter. And also, Saturn is the last of the planets that was actually observed and still can be observed with the naked eye only. However, it will be a little more handy to bring some binoculars at the very least. As a result, Saturn was actually the last planet in the solar system for a long time before the discovery of Ceres was made. However, Ceres was then qualified as an asteroid after it was found that many more objects in the asteroid belt that were like Ceres were found. And as a result, Saturn came back to being the last planet. It wasn't until Uranus' discovery in the 1700s that finally gave the solar system a new planet. And Saturn is probably one of the more interesting planets and I can already tell that it's most of the people who are watching this video's favorite planet as well. And maybe one day we'll know more about Saturn and we can make another video. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you liked this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then give me one of these. And if you like the channel, then subscribe, turn on those notifications as well. And anyways, uh, that'll be it for this video. I'm Nick, and my goal is to feed your brain. In Penis, Pan, Rhea, Phoebe. What was it again? <laughs>